in my senior year, mm -hmm. I met the Franciscans and I got more close to them uh, because my aunt had a friend that he was a friar. He left, but in that time he was a friar. And so my aunt told him that I was interested in the Franciscans. So he called me and we got together. We talked like a five times. And I, I, I don't know, I developed a really, really relationship with him and with the Franciscan. So I, I participated with them for the whole year as well. But um, at the end of the year, as always, in November, I, when I was asked to join them, I got, I don't know, afraid, scared. I was insecure, I was inexperienced, I was immature, and I was, and a lot of things were going on in my life. So I said no uh, to them. Uh, I finished high school and I moved from my hometown that is a small town in Honduras. I moved from there to the capital, the capital city. So I was um, this guy from a small town living in the big city, going to college. That is a completely new experience. So I, I forgot about the church and I, for, I left everything behind, to put it that way. I left everything behind and I started a new life, a new, yeah, a new life. Um, I went to college, I finished college, I, I did everything. And then in 2005, I moved from my country, Honduras, to Miami. Uh, my mom and my two sisters lived there. Um, I lived with my mom for three months, then I moved to my own place my apartment, I got my car, I got a job, I was making my own money, I was living on my own. So I was the, I was like the king of my life. I was the ruler of my, of my life. And I was doing all those stuff in Miami, you know, 22 years old in Miami with all money in a car, things are just, and friends. So um, the story goes that, um, I got into a different experience in my life and experiencing uh, different things. Um, new friends, a new country, a new language, a new culture, everything was new. So I, I was interested in the newness uh, that was in front of me. Um, from my junior, junior year to to Tansian Night that I joined the community. Uh, there were eight years that I was living on my own. However, the idea of the religious life was in the back of my mind all the time. Uh, doesn't matter what I was doing or where I was living or who I was with, what I was doing or things like that. Something was missing and, and I knew that I wouldn't be happy until I found what was missing in my life. Um, I like to say that I knew what it was, what it was. I knew what was missing, but I didn't want to accept the, that what was missing. I was like trying to say no to myself. I knew, I knew that being a different person would be the like the happiness in my life but i was trying no no i i don't want to be a priest i want to be something else i don't want to be a priest i want to be something else and that was that was the dilemma in my life um until one night that i was completely completely down i was absolutely depressed uh and i was i don't know i was completely lost and I was depressed and I was um, confused. That's the, a good word, confused. So I got close to the church as, um, again. During those eight years, I didn't go to mass. I didn't go to confession. I didn't receive communion. So I was completely, 
away from the church. So in Miami, um, I I went back to the church. I I went back to my faith. I went back to where I was before, and it felt so nice. Trust me, I realized the change in my life, and I. Like I did, I discover myself once again. So I, little by little, I started changing things in my life in 2008. And then one night, um, I was in my bed. Remember, uh, no, that the, that day, early that day, my friend, my friend from Honduras, he called me. He's already a priest. He was ordained last year. Uh, he called me and we talked like a, for two hours. Hey, how are you? What are you doing? What's, what's going on? And all the stuff. And so that day at night in my room, I went to the internet and I put, I googled Franciscans. I, I don't know why, why I did it, to be honest with you all. Uh, I was just, I don't know. I don't know. I was like a curious. So I googled Franciscans and the first a uh, website that appeared in the screen was franciscans.org, our website. <laughs> so so I, I, I browsed the website, I browsed the page, and I, as I was reading everything, like um, this priest was giving a lecture, this other seminarian, this one, this guy, this guy, as I, as, as I was reading everything, I was remembering everything that <clears throat> happened to me in Honduras as well as in Miami. So I, I, I was moved. By who? I don't know. Or by what? I don't know. But I was moved. So in the, in the vocation corner, <laughs> I remember I said, if you want to talk to a friar, just leave us a, a message. So I did it. I put my name, my phone number, <clears throat> and my information. Two days later, Father Vincent called me and we set an appointment. He went to Florida. We met for the first time. And it was nice. It was really, really nice. After that day, I, I asked for vacation in my work. I was working as a waiter in a restaurant in Miami. So I asked <coughs> for a week. Uh, I don't know why, though. But I asked for that week, and during that week, I, I went to Mass every day. And after Mass, I stayed at the church, just sitting there. No praying, no singing, nothing, doing nothing. Just sitting there in the church. And it was really nice, really, really nice. Then, uh, then we met with Father Vincent again, three times, three more times. And he, he asked me, Oh, he invited me to come to a living weekend, like you all right now. But I, at first I said no, once again. <laughs> I said no, because I was afraid. Um, I was like a, a confused uh, until one day, I, okay, I will go. No matter what happened, I will go. Because um, I was, honestly, I was getting tired of that feeling. That because I had that question in my mind, what if, what if, all the time, when I went to mass and I saw the priest going to the altar, I had that question, what if Moses, what if you are called to the priesthood? So I I was I didn't want that question in my mind, so I decided to come here. I came to the living weekend in October, two thousand eight. Um, it was fall, so it was cold for me. Um, new people, new language, new experience. It was it was completely, completely new for me. Um, did I like did I did I, did I like the living weekend or did I not like the living weekend? I don't know yet. But once again, I was moved by something. So in January 2009, I asked Father Vincent for, to start the process for the application 